your New Year's resolution is to run more or maybe exercise more, we wish you all the luck here at WCNC Charlotte. But if you plan to work outside, there are some things to know before you get active in the cold in this week's Weather IQ. Here's Chris. Happy New Year, everyone. Many of your resolutions may be to exercise more. But how does winter weather affect you when you're outside? Let's run into some answers in this week's Weather IQ. The good thing about living in the Carolinas is, is that it rarely gets dangerously cold here. But when is it too cold to exercise outside? When temps are below zero or the wind chill is 17 below zero or colder, frostbite is possible and thus it's too cold to really do anything outside. However, when it's not too cold, studies have shown that workouts in the cold actually burn more calories than when done in warmer weather. But since the body must push itself more to keep warm, you need to load up on nutrients when working out during the winter months to make sure your body can replenish that energy. So before an active day out in the cold, dietitians suggest to have a hearty carb rich meal at least two hours beforehand. Then once you begin your outdoor workout or rigorous activity, it's suggested to have a small snack like an energy bar, orange slices, or a banana every hour. Your body will fatigue fatigue much faster in cold weather when it doesn't have the adequate fuel. Cold weather workout tip, stay hydrated. <sighs> May it be 100 degrees or 30, dehydration risk is the same. However, when it's cold outside, you don't feel nearly as thirsty. When you can see your breath on a cold day, that vapor you see is your body losing water. Important note, for every hour of physical activity, in the cold or in the heat, the body needs 16 ounces of water. Wishing you an active and healthy 2022. I'm meteorologist Chris Mulcahy.